Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about hypothyroidism during your pregnancy and what to look for so you can avoid serious complications for you and your baby. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I've been a registered nurse since 2009, working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. Hypothyroidism is a common condition that develops during pregnancy. This condition can cause some major complications for you and your baby, so it's very important to recognize hypothyroidism when it develops. Let's explore what causes hypothyroidism and how to treat it. The thyroid is an organ located in the front of your neck. Its job is to make hormones that help your body work well. The hormones are called T3 and T4. These hormones play an essential part in metabolism, which is how our bodies use and store energy. The thyroid also plays a vital role in many other important bodily functions. When your thyroid produces too little hormones, a condition called hypothyroidism develops. Unfortunately, this condition often develops or gets worse during pregnancy, which can lead to complications. There are many risk factors for developing hypothyroidism. These include being over the age of 30, previous history of infertility, previous history of preterm delivery, past thyroid surgery, a family history of thyroid or autoimmune disease, prior radiation treatment of the head or neck, a goiter, which is an enlargement of the thyroid gland, thyroid antibodies, and type 1 diabetes or another autoimmune disorder. Hypothyroidism is very common, but many of the symptoms look like normal pregnancy symptoms, which is why the diagnosis often gets missed. It's important to know the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism because they can be very mild and can develop very slowly. However, if left untreated, they can have serious consequences. Symptoms of hypothyroidism include feeling tired, weight gain, constipation, trouble concentrating, carpal tunnel syndrome, feeling cold or unable to tolerate cold temperatures, high blood pressure, swelling of the face, muscle cramps and weakness, skin and hair changes, usually dry skin, loss of eyebrows, hoarse voice, slow heart rate, and irregular menstrual periods. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about the complications of hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism can lead to many problems for both mom and baby. Problems for mom include the following. Gestational hypertension, which is high blood pressure that starts after your 20th week of pregnancy. Preeclampsia, which is also high blood pressure that begins after your 20th week of pregnancy, but can cause damage to your organs as well as putting you at risk for seizures and an emergency delivery. Anemia, which is when you don't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen to your baby and placenta. Placental abruption, which is when the placenta detaches from the uterine wall. Postpartum hemorrhage, when you bleed too much after delivery. Heart failure, because your heart is unable to pump your blood properly. And myxtemia, which is rare but can cause you to go into a coma or even cause death. Problems for your baby can include low birth weight, growth problems of the brain and nervous system, low IQ if left untreated, especially when hypothyroidism occurs in your first trimester, thyroid problems for baby, infantile myxedema, which can cause dwarfism and intellectual disabilities, premature birth before 37 weeks, miscarriage, and stillbirth. Hypothyroidism can also prevent you from becoming pregnant. The symptoms of hypothyroidism are very common in many diseases, including pregnancy. This makes it essential to speak with your healthcare provider if you're experiencing any of these symptoms so you can get tested. 
Fortunately, testing for hypothyroidism is very easy. A simple blood test measuring your thyroid hormones and thyroid stimulating hormones will tell your provider if you have hypothyroidism. If your thyroid levels are low, your provider will prescribe a medication to replace the thyroid hormone. It is essential to take this medication to prevent the complications of hypothyroidism. Your thyroid levels will then be checked approximately every four weeks. During your pregnancy, your thyroid needs may change, causing your provider to adjust the dosing of your medication. After you deliver, your thyroid needs will likely change again, making continued monitoring of your blood work very important. When taking your thyroid medication, you should continue to take your prenatal vitamins because they contain iodine, which is necessary for good thyroid function. However, your thyroid medication should be taken early in the morning on an empty stomach because most vitamins and other medications will interfere with how well your thyroid medication works. Hypothyroidism is a very serious condition for both mothers and babies. I hope this explained what hypothyroidism is and why it's so important to be screened if you have symptoms and receive treatment. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.